Another day to live through. Better get started. Is that all it has been since I inherited the world? That's fake. They're fake. All these clouds are fake. In fact, the whole sky is fake. This whole reality which we live in is fake. So pretty much everything you see up there is fake. Pretty much everything you hear down here is a lie. Everything you've been taught is uh, a people, lie. People um, have said to me many times, uh, why don't you have bodyguards or do you have bodyguards? And I say, well, absolutely bloody not. Because what is a bodyguard? A bodyguard is a physical expression of a mental state. And that mental state is, I accept that something could happen to me. I accept that I could be killed, or I could, this could happen to me, or that could happen to me. Therefore, I need protection. This guy in a dark suit and glasses. I don't accept that. Because once you, once you accept into your sense of reality that things could happen to you, then they're far, far more likely to happen. Because you are creating the energetic um, mental state in which they can manifest. I don't accept that that can happen to me. And if it can't happen to me, I don't need believe bodyguards, thank you very much. In terms of um, energy and protecting yourself from uh, manipulation of energy, and there is a lot in that, you know, there's a lot of people manipulated by being energetically targeted, um, electromagnetically targeted in many and various ways to destabilize the health of the body and the mind and emotions and everything. And I've experienced that over the years. Um, but if I keep my heart open and I go on doing what I know to be right, as opposed to what I think is right for me in the moment, but what is the right thing to do in this time? Okay, this might have unpleasant consequences for me, but it's the right thing to do. If you do that, all these mental and emotional states um, are manifestations of vibrational states. The more fear you're in, the slower your energy vibrates, so it becomes denser. And, and when you um, keep your mind open, you keep your heart open and you do what you know to be right, that manifests as a um, vibrational state, quite a you know, high vibrational state, quick. Now, if I'm vibrating faster because of that, and I'm not saying me, I'm saying anybody, than the control system, which is based on slow density, which is why they're trying to pull humanity all the time into fear and stress and worry and depression, because that pulls you into their density. But if I'm vibrating quickly, because, or anyone is, because of their state of being, then the control system cannot energetically, vibrationally, connect to me. If it cannot connect vibrationally, it cannot connect physically, because the physical is just an expression of the, the vibrational, the information. So, uh, I'm not saying people, a lot of people go through this energetic pr pr protection and aura and all that stuff, and, you know, good luck to them. Yeah, everyone makes a choice, good luck to them, they respect it. But, if you take, in any way, become obsessed with protection, what you're saying is, I accept something can happen to me. In, in which case, you're creating an energetic environment in which it could well happen to you. I, w I don't accept that. Uh, so I don't protect myself. Why? Because I don't need protecting. Well, so you're virtually like invisible for them. Well, they can see me, but vibrationally invisible in the sense that they can't lock in, if you can't lock into you vibrationally, they can't lock into you physically. Oh. I remember a great friend of mine, um, Kredo Mutwa, the Zulu shaman, who's in his 80s now, the man's extraordinary, a, a, a incredible library of knowledge of African history and esoterics and all the rest of it. And um, he, he, he did some throwing the bones, as they say, in, in Africa, but it's like tarot cards or rune stones, that sort of stuff, which he's very skilled in. And he, he did it for me once um, when I was with him. I'm going to see him again soon. Uh, and he said, you know, they've tried to kill you many times. He said, but they can't do it. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. Uh, but I realized why they can't do it. Because 
if they can't get to me energetically, they can't get to me physically. They can't do it. And it's the same with anybody that reaches a certain vibrational state. They can't. No, I wouldn't say uh, that I'm afraid. I'm passionate. Um, I'm determined. And, you know, when you have a, a philosophy on life that I have, and I, I back it up with a lot of detailed evidence in my books, that we are infinite eternal consciousness having an experience in this frequency range we call a reality and that David Icke or Ethel Jones or Charlie Smith is just an experience that my consciousness is having it's not me it's an experience I'm having which is why when people have near-death experiences they have the experience of leaving the body but they're still totally in, in their awareness in fact far more in their awareness than they are in the body um, and people say well how can, how can they see how can they perceive how can they think without the body well because that's their natural state so where I'm going with this is this. The worst thing that can happen to me doing what I'm doing is that someone kills me. That, and the, what that means is my infinite consciousness <clears throat> leaves this vehicle. You know, just like a spaceman gets out of the spacesuit. Um, so I think I can deal with that, no problem. So the worst thing that can happen is someone kills me. Um, and, and, and I have no problem with that. Um, the, the problem I have with uh, that only is this. Uh, they're not going to do it before I've, I've done what I've come to do. Simple as that. End of story. We have far more power than we think we have. And in fact, the whole foundation of the conspiracy to enslave humanity is to constantly um, persuade, encourage, manipulate humanity to think it has no power, to think it's just little me. I've got no power. Joe Public, what can I do? Well, actually, we can change anything we like because we're amazing expressions of, of, of the one consciousness that in, in all its many and various infinite forms is, 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 is what we all are. Um, so I, I don't fear these people. I think they're pathetic. Um, I think they, uh, they are um, frightened in so many ways because, and terrified and immensely insecure because secure people do not want power over others. Insecure people want power over others. Secure people um, do not want to control events uh, uh, all the time. They're quite happy to flow with the way life goes. These people are so insecure for many and various reasons, which will be, take a lot of time to explain. And uh, therefore, they want to control everything. When these, it, it, if you take the football match analogy, um, they are incredibly uncomfortable at going to a football match and not knowing what the result's going to be before the game starts. You know that, who's going to win, or is it going that way? They can't stand that. What they have to know, because of their extraordinary levels of insecurity, is what the score's going to be before the game starts. Now, how do you do that? You can't do it by controlling one side because um, you influence the game, but you don't decide the game because there's an unknown force, which is the other side. And so they want to control both sides. So taking that into our everyday life what they do is they'll um, create groups that are for something that they want and they do is they'll um, create groups that are for something that they want and they do is they'll um, create groups that are for something that they want and they'll create groups that are against something or appear to be against something that they want and now they've controlled both sides. Everyone has a, a, an argument, a debate, a debate, a protest. And people think, oh, it's, it's a free world, free country. Because look, there's protest and there's, there's, there's argument going on and discussion. Yeah. But they know what the blooming outcome is going to be. This, the side that, they, that, that, that is pressing for what they want is the one that's going to prevail. Want is the one that's going to prevail. So this is how it works. Um, and what they don't understand, therefore, because they do not have the capacity for that because of their own state of being, they do not understand or know how to handle people who are not in fear, either of them or death or any of it. They can't, because they can't, they can't understand it because that's not where they're at. And so it's interesting that in some of their writings, some of the documents that have come to light, they talk about the great danger to their plan of what they call maverick people. People who are not frightened of them, people who are not 
programmed by the system to think and see the world the way the system wants them to, they are very dangerous to this tyranny. And uh, we need more of them. And uh, I'm going to go on being a, a maverick until I've done what I've come to do. And they are not going to reduce that time one second because I'm in control of my reality and my life, not them. That's fake. They're fake. All these clouds are fake. In fact, the whole sky is fake. This whole reality which we live in is fake. So pretty much everything you see up there is fake. Pretty much everything you hear down here is a lie. Everything you've been taught um, is a lie.